Hello and namaste, my friend. As we continue our spiritual awakening journey, in this video, I will explain the meaning of spiritual freedom. As you awaken to and accept the reality of a higher level of consciousness within you, as more core and central to your true nature, your true self or higher self, and you begin to identify more and more with that innermost self, you will begin to feel more free and more fully alive than ever before. Understanding spiritual truth and raising your level of consciousness increases wisdom, true knowledge, and understanding. You begin to see the ignorance of the world, the ego-based structures, programs, and belief systems, which delude and veil and cloud the true nature of reality. The world we have collectively created as delusional, ego-based, separate cultures, societies, and individuals, where the main focus of life and advancement has been the protection, welfare, and prosperity of me and mine, has created this world. There is no one to blame other than us, the collective human ego. But this world does not exist inherently as a static truth. The world is constantly changing and evolving, which means we can evolve out of this state. Everything in the universe is impermanent and in a constant state of change and flow. Advancing in one's spirituality allows for the freedom to rise above the current state of the world to see it as a temporary, conventional illusion or a dream that exists only because people believe in it. Attached to their beliefs and opinions and identities, that actually cuts them off from the highest truth and keeps it from emerging in this world. The truth is non-duality. There is one infinite field of consciousness beyond all names, labels, images, and concepts. And everything within the universe is a manifestation of this one source. We are not just one figuratively or poetically, but literally. The source of consciousness within each one of us is divine, and that light of awareness is one and the same. We all have the same truth, light, and awareness within. If it were not for this awareness, we would not exist. It is the ground of all experience, prior to body, mind, and thought. Without awareness, there would be no thinking mind to think that it knows anything. Ego thinking mind is the lower, animal nature, delusional self. Pristine awareness is the higher, spiritual, conscious, true self. Those who learn this seek it within and let go of their false identities and beliefs, become free of bondage and suffering caused by the conditioned mind, attached to habitual tendencies, programs, vanities, and negative structures and patterns. Spiritual seekers become free from the egoic programs of oneself and others. With growing awareness and mindfulness, they focus on their own behavior and on correcting it so it is aligned with the highest truth. Spiritual freedom is getting established in one's true self. Not getting affected by external situations and people, one gradually becomes free from doubt, fear, worry, negative karma, sin, attachments, anger, rejection, bitterness, and all forms of negativity. There arises the opportunity to fashion one's own destiny and choose a path that is aligned with the greatest good. Intuition is heightened and one becomes guided from within, in harmony with one's true nature. With major evolution, wants and needs disappear because satisfaction no longer arises from what one has, but from the realization of the source of one's own existence. 
One is no longer dependent on any externals for joy and happiness, love and contentment. Instead of seeking it from the world, one becomes a source of it for the world. One's mind becomes neutral and peaceful, valuing calm and tranquility. Compassion is felt more deeply, replacing judgment as one understands the ignorance and plight of others. One is no longer concerned what others think with the knowledge that their very thinking, programs and beliefs have them and this world in bondage. There is no one to blame. Ignorance breeds ignorance. Only truth can set them free. One realizes that there are many paths to truth and freedom. We are free to seek our own path and allow and pray for others to do the same. Spiritual seekers of the highest truth become free from the past. Through forgiveness, acceptance, and understanding, the wrongs of others and oneself can be let go. Things happen differently at different levels of consciousness. Who we were back then is not who we are now, and even who we are now is merely labeled and impermanent. Who we really are, pure, simple, beyond physicality, is what matters most. Letting go becomes easier and easier, freeing one from all matter of mental and emotional hardships. Courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance, empowerment, trust, optimism, intention, and mindfulness become the new programs and tendencies. One no longer argues about beliefs or trying to change anyone. We accept our freedom as a gift. We are free to express ourselves and allow others to find their own truth and live their own lives. Spiritual seekers have the freedom to cut things out of their lives that are no longer working. People, lifestyles, cultural norms. Spiritual evolution becomes the primary focus of one's life. Accept that the future hasn't happened yet. Set intentions and goals and help to create a new reality. Raise your level of consciousness and raise the world. Continue your journey with this video on the screen now, where I summarize the whole spiritual awakening process. Very powerful. Thank you and Namaste.